thanks for joining me. So uh, these are some of the watches that I am deciding to keep. Um, these are the ones, the less desirable ones that I'm just going to resell in a bulk lot, lot them up, um, and then sell them for cheap. But these are the ones I kind of picked out. Uh, these ones over to the left, these are just kind of like, whatever they are, they're worth more than a dollar or less. Uh, I figured I, I might as well hold on to them. Like there's that uh, uh, pink cross one and there's this one, just some weird different ones. Uh, it's a Beverly Hills Polo Club one, this one right here. Um, yeah, all these are Timexes. So I usually like to lot up Timexes and then I'll just do a bulk lot of Timexes. And then down here, these are a couple Seikos. What's this? This is a, this is a Seiko. Pretty cool. Here is another Seiko. Hopefully you can see that all right. There's another Seiko. That's a Seiko. Um, that's a Pulsar. Pulsar, Pulsar, Fossil. Um, this was like a Tisset. Tisset. So, and then that's just like a uh, Eeyore one. And then this is a, here's a fake Rolex. It's pretty funny. Found that in the lot. So, really bad fake Submariner with a broken strap. But I put that to the side, so. And then here's just a couple like missing extra parts and a couple pocket watches. So, yeah. about uh, these are some of the ones that are kind of cool they caught my eye I picked them out um, some of the ones obviously like these with the tags like this has a $30 price tag on it like obviously like how could I not put that aside and uh, what is that that's like a Timex this one was just kind of a weird one put that aside uh, anytime I see anything branded with any TV show or anything cool like Spider-Man or this is like an Angry Birds one here. Oh wait, where's the Angry Birds one? Like anything branded from a TV show or video game, it's kind of cool to put aside. But yeah, here's an Angry Birds, um, Winnie the Pooh. So those are, I got a couple of those, put those aside. Uh, a bunch of these sports related ones, like this is the Phillies. Let me see that. And, uh, you know, that one's got, like, an elephant on it. This one's Hershey's with a cow. Excuse my camera work right now. But, uh, yeah, there's some cool ones. There's some Kellogg ones. Those ones just look cool. Those ones were definitely dope. I got some straps. Um, what else? Oh, they got a G-Shock. So that was cool. So in these watches, in this specific, uh, specific lot, I'm in these 85 cents a piece. I got, I already counted through them. I counted, there's 226 watches. I paid like 185 bucks for it, something like that. And I'm gonna go over on my spreadsheet and I'll show you exactly, but I'm in these about 85 cents a piece, which is great. Like how could you say another like G-Shock? For 85 cents dude or even these was new with the tag for like $30 price tag on it for 85 cents so pretty cool uh, found some good ones but I don't even know what these are back here flex watches uh, but they're they look new also I don't know they're kind of big take up a lot of room but I put those to the side I'm gonna do some research and list a couple of these and I might even keep a couple but 
Uh, some I will just hold on for the long term, like those Spider-Man ones. I'm just going to put those in a box and just keep them just for a long time. But I don't know why. I'll just let them, uh, you know, collect dust. But All right, guys. So this is my spreadsheet that I was talking about. This is where I'm tracking all of my uh, purchases, and I'm also tracking my sales. Um, but this is where I can see... Uh, kind of what I have invested in each uh, watch so a lot of this you can ignore because I bought a bunch of different lots but um, the two that we're focusing on is this 12 pound lot right here on 918 um, I was in those 85 cents um, and then I can actually pretty cool thing with the spreadsheet I can actually go over see where I click on pictures I added a link to where now I have it saved uh, my eBay that the original listing with the original picture so I could see because after a while eBay will delete uh, the listing so I kind of want to save the pictures but see right here I have the original picture saved and then see those and see if I actually got the right watches from the guy but um, I got those ones that first one the first box I went through 85 cents a piece and then the second 21 pounds um, I got those for 82 uh, cents so Pretty cool, right? Zoom in real easily, and then you can see the original listing, and zoom out. But if I can also, uh, I've been tracking my sales. So right now, since I've started this, I have uh, totaled up total sales eight hundred and sixty-seven dollars, uh, and that's just really watch prices, uh, gross after shipping and fees. Uh, the total money I've made back is actually exactly $700.07, which is pretty funny. That's a lucky number. Pretty cool. But as of right now, uh, pretty good, pretty good. Um, doing all right. I just need to keep listing and keep up with it. Um, so I will show you actually this fuel one. I'm kind of sad I sold this one. Uh, this one was a cool one. Um, but I took a best offer, sold it for 155 bucks. So after fees, uh, I was in at 135 bucks. But it's pretty cool because I got it in one of the lots. I got that for 12, which is pretty incredible. Um, I can actually probably show you. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Let's see. I can go back to the 60 60 watch. So this lot, back originally, I got this lot, 60 watches, I paid a lot of money. I paid 600, over $700 for all these. And I, but I think it ever, uh, came out and averaged out to $12 a watch, which was pretty cool. Let's see if we can find that one, the one that I sold. Oh, there it is. So this one that I got for 12 bucks. I just sold it for 155 plus 10 shipping. So that was a cool one. Um, let's see here. I also uh, sold 100 uh, watches, just miscellaneous, different watches. I sold it for 70 bucks. So gross after shipping and fees. I know it sounds really cheap. Like I sold these, he, he got them, or I ended up, selling them for 60 cents a piece after it but I was only in them 30 cents a piece because I got them from this other lot so I sold these ones really cheap uh, and it was a lot of like really just pink ladies watches that just with weird straps that were just really um, whatever but yeah sold that took a best offer and then the last watch that I want to highlight I sold a bunch of other watches but the last one I want to highlight was this cool Tomb Raider watch um, got this one for, I think it was a dollar. Yeah, vintage original Tomb Raider one. Got it for a dollar in one of these lots. Sold it for $21 plus shipping. After shipping and fees, I was in it, made 18 bucks. So, what is that, 1700%? Pretty good. Pretty good. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to keep it up. Uh, new swap meet video coming pretty soon whenever that is probably in the next couple weeks when next time I hit a swap meet but I'll have another video up um, and then yeah we're gonna try to keep you guys in the loop and see whatever else is new but hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, I will see you later if you made it to this far leave a comment in the comment section that'd be great 
And yeah, I'll see you, man. John is rest.